Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you how to customize your Windows cursors. Many of you saw that in my previous videos I'm using this blue cursor. Today I switched it over to a silver 3D one. So first thing I'd like you to do so you can get the same type of cursor is go to customize.org. Okay, customize.org is where free mouse packages uh, of different icons cursors can be downloaded easily and installed quickly. So when you browse through it for the cursors you'll see that there's different types there available right the one that I had installed earlier today was called uh, a silver 3d cursor but uh, for those looking for a blue one just search around here's a blue one right here that you could try um, and see if you like it or not so to, if, if you wanted that one for example you just click on on that image and then uh, it'll show you a, a screen cap of what it looks like and then you can go where the download file is and then click on that download file okay so when you click on download file it's just a little zip file that um, you'll have to extract with your favorite WinZip program and put it somewhere in your Windows folder so I usually extract all my mouse files in the C colon backslash Windows backslash cursors folder all my cursors go in there so after you extract it in there don't forget where you put it go into your control panel now and then double click on the mouse settings. So in the mouse option there, in the control panel, you'll be able to go in and select the different pointers, right? So obviously the normal select is your main pointer and I'm gonna show how I can just browse in the Windows cursors folder and find what I just extracted, which was that, that blue one. And then I can just select which one I want to be the normal select cursor, right? So if I don't want it to be that one because it's animated, I want a different type, I can select this XP blue cursor for example, and that could be it. That could be your default cursor right there. Do the same thing for all the other pointers that you have, right? Then apply your change and then you'll see that it instantly changed my 3D silver cursor that I had a second ago with this blue one. If you don't like it, you go right back, change it, select your silver cursor that I have here that I already had extracted earlier, and then uh, do the same thing again, right? So after you select it, uh, open it and apply the changes so that it can replace whatever is currently being used with this one. Okay, so there you go. And I'm back to, to using that silver one with the see-through uh, center. So just browse through it, see what you can find. Uh, there's tons of different packages in there. I'm sure you're going to find something better that you like. And uh, enjoy. Thank you for watching.